guys so welcome to day three of my classroom setup um i realize i've worn black in all of my setup videos but that's okay so today i'm hoping to get a lot of like little stuff done so first on the list we are going to paint this bad boy white so i got paint so at least get the first coat on there um and then i actually went ahead and got all white bins for my library and I already pre-labeled them. So I'm gonna switch out my pink bins for my white ones and maybe start decorating the library wall today. Um, I don't know, we will see. So first, let's get to painting. Okay, so I am home now because this little thing just could not stay in the crate any longer, which is, to be fair, she's only nine weeks old. Everyone say hi to Blue. Yeah. So I got everything done that I wanted to besides decorating the library wall, which is okay because I like definitely want to do walls last, um, but I know I am done with that section now. Thank the Lord. Um, I did go ahead, as you could see, and I did the whiteboard, like just bulletin board surround, like border. Um, my bulletin board was I pop out, but my bulletin border did get like crunched in the middle, so it wasn't laying flat, which was really. I had to add a lot more magnets to the back of it than I should have, but hopefully, it like straightens out over time. Um, I got it like pretty flush with the whiteboard, so. I really, I really like it. I told my um, my teacher, the teacher next door to me, she's also a brand new teacher and she is super sweet. Um, I love her. We were like always in there at the same time and we can relate and yeah, she's awesome. But I was telling her, I was like, it kind of looks like cheese, um, like the melted cheese on the whiteboard. But I think once I add like the other like pastel stuff to it, um, it'll bring it together and not look so much like melted cheese. <laughs> but kind of going off of that, like I knew that like setting up a classroom was going to be a lot of work and I knew it was going to be hard, but I don't think I knew how much time it would take me. Like things that I thought I'd be able to do really quickly end up taking me a lot longer. Like that table I painted today took me over an hour. Um, I would have never guessed that, but because there were so many like lines and I had to clean up the mess, of any paint on the floor like right away um it ended up taking me literally an hour so and then just like not knowing where you really want things and kind of like moving them and moving them back like it takes a really really long time and my whole family is like you shouldn't you almost be done by now and i was like no technically i'm going today was my day three i think but i can only stay there for like three and a half hours because of blue the you know our nine week old puppy can only stay in the crate for so long cause she's so little. Um, and so I don't like, I wish I was a lot further than I am, but I'm not, which it, it's okay. But it definitely like is a lot more of a process than I could have ever imagined. And again, this is nothing to do with curriculum procedures, like lesson plans. This is just physically setting up my classroom. Um, which is crazy. Haven't made one single copy, like none of that. We actually still don't even have our IDs or badges. So we have to, like one, we can't really use a printer. Um, they told me that there's a way that they think I can. So I'm going to try it um, probably next Monday or Tuesday. But we still have to ask to like come in every time and make sure someone's there when we come in. So it is kind of like, it's a lot to handle and then I can't like I feel like I can't go in and out many times because like someone has to let me in so I can't be like hey can you stand this door while I run in out four million times um so I've just kind of been like bringing stuff in like 
different stuff in each time I go in and then also bringing stuff out each time because there's a bunch of bins that end up not needing um like reading bins I had 22 for my whole class but ultimately decided not to do reading bins so I had to bring those all back out um literally a whole tub of things that I don't need I brought back out so it's definitely been like a process Tomorrow, though, my mom does have off, so she is going to watch the puppy for me all day. So I'm going to have the entire day to do my classroom. So I'm hoping to get a lot done tomorrow um, and hoping that I can feel a little bit more accomplished and better. I just, I feel like I've, I feel like I have been there so much and I just like, so much still needs to get done. Like it's not anywhere close to where I want it. But I also don't have any of like the wall decor up or any of like my own stuff up. So I think once that starts coming up then I'll feel a lot more like home and like my classroom like I've always imagined um but right now it's just like getting the supplies and like really all the stuff the teacher left me like like yes I am thankful but it was a lot and a lot of stuff that was not organized like literally everywhere I can't even tell you how many um like shape math manipulatives I have like thousands probably there's six tubs of them in the tracking cabinet so just like trying to find a space for all those and organize them um it's insane and so now that I'm finally done with all of that I can really focus on getting my supplies put away and then we should be able to do the walls tomorrow um tomorrow evening would be my guess so cross your fingers I think once those start going up, I will definitely feel a lot better. But because I did not do so much today, I am going to make this, um, and again, like another two day video. Um, so today was day three, day three. Yeah, day three. Um, so tomorrow will be day four and hopefully we get a lot of stuff done tomorrow. Cross your fingers. We should because I don't have to worry about my puppy. But I will see you guys tomorrow. I am going to work on some curriculum now since I'm home and then we'll wake up super early and get back into the classroom and get going but see you guys tomorrow hey guys, welcome to day four of my classroom setup definitely the biggest one yet I'm going to be here literally from nine to five I packed a lunch and everything we are going to stay um getting in was a little harder this morning like no one was here so I basically just like waited at the front door until a teacher passed by and let me in so I think I waited like five minutes which isn't that long but it's just awkward just standing there so like like I got in and I'm going to start working on my classroom now a lot of you guys on my day one and day two left the sweetest comments and you said to write a to-do list so that's the first thing I want to do is just write what I have to do still um and also like what I need to take away, stuff like that. So I'm gonna write my to-do list and then actually get to work. Okay, so not sure if this intimidates me more or helps me, but this is the goal um, maybe for the whole day, maybe the next two days, we'll kind of see. Um, Cause there is a lot of big bulletin boards here and I've never done one. So I have no idea how long they take. You guys also said that the stools that I got were not gonna last very long. And I was kind of afraid of that before all the comments. And then like every comment on that video so far is like, do not use them, do not use them. So I got rid of them and I found these ones and they look very similar, but they're actually a lot more sturdy. Like I can sit on them and rock and granted they still might bend, but hopefully I can get a little bit longer than the other one. Um, so I have to work for now. Cause again, I like those are expensive. I'm not buying new stools. So if they bend, they bend, but hopefully they don't. Um, but they're definitely more sturdy than the other ones. Okay, so the first wall I wanted to do was my reading wall because I already like mapped it out at home. So I already know exactly what I want to do, what those pieces are in my car. And the one person that can let me in is in a meeting. So um, I guess we will do my teacher wall. That's a big one. Um, also, it is very creepy being at a school when no one else is here. Um, apparently no one like wants to work Fridays. So there's a lot of people here like every day this week, but today. So um, it's a little freaky. Like all of the like school lights are off and everything. So a little scary. <laughs> Oh. 
so i tried the whole hack of like using like scotch tape or like tape to like help them get level and it actually ripped my letters um like peeled them off so i just kind of eyeballed it it's not perfect but it's pretty good not gonna lie i love it Okay, so for these guys, I just used some masking tape on the back so I could preview them um, since they were definitely a little bit more technical. So that's why you can kind of see them sticking out. So now that I have it up of where I like it, I'm going to staple them down. Okay, it's done. I am obsessed. Like so far, this is my favorite area. <music> So this next one is going to be very challenging. Um, it is massive and it's pretty much going on almost this entire back wall. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this, but I'll figure it out. So it's been about four hours since I've been here. So I'm going to take a lunch break. But before I do that, I want to show you everything I got done. I decided to switch the cow print. It was just too, like, I don't know. It did not go with this at all. So I just did a pink border and I love it. Um, I did this massive one. I'll back up so you guys can see how big this wall is. Um, it is a what we are learning. So I will hang my anchor charts for reading, writing, math, and content here. I am going to get black tape to separate them so the kids kind of have a better visual of like where it starts and where it ends so it's not so like, because it looks like it's like one big word, right? So it kind of like helps chop it up a little bit. Um, and then you saw this, so I got that read done. Still haven't found the 30 for my clock yet, so hopefully I find that or I'll just print a new one. And then I started this, I've had to take these things down three times so I'm finally just like you know what I'm gonna take lunch and then figure it out they are gonna have to be a little bit over the board because I ran out of the brown paper which is okay um but I want to make sure they're spaced out evenly so I like look at all these staples guys like I've taken so many on and off but I love this and I think it is looking so four almost five things off of my list so I say pretty good um considering it's about almost half the time that I get I'm gonna be here um, so after that, we will do the student work wall, the star student wall, and then I'll start working on this like whiteboard and above it and below it type thing. So we are getting it done.